Yo, Philly 254 living life. Back at it. Now we are on another episode of How Well Does It Play. And if you don't know what I mean, it's How Well Does It Play on the Steam Deck. The purpose of this is basically to take a look at certain games that come out and, and we want to see how well does it actually play on the Steam Deck. Is it stuttery? Does it not play at all? Is it kind of play, but you got to make all these weird adjustments? Who knows? But that's the whole point of this. With that, in the game that we're looking at today will be Sons of the Forest. Just came out on, I think it was Friday or Thursday, one of the two. And it shut down Steam when it came out. Let's put it that way. We're going to take a look at it and see how well it plays. It's not going to be a full review of the game and how well it, you know, if it's fun or not. Spoilers, it is. But more how well does it play on a Steam Deck or not. So, before we get into get into this video, real quick, like and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Do the YouTube jazz and meringue. Now let's get it started. As I stated before, we are looking at Sons of the Forest. Came out last week, Thursday or Friday, I can't remember exactly. $23.99. Is it a buy? I will say off the top, it is definitely a buy. But we have to have a, a full understanding of what you're purchasing. It is an early access game. So what does that mean? That means you're going to have some, some weird hiccups, some weird issues. And, and, and not just exclusive to Steam Deck. But we're going to discuss real quick what I feel like may be exclusive to Steam Deck. Is I noticed, on, at least in my very first playthrough, I had noticed some stuttering. And you might have already been seeing it, in the, in the, in the, especially in the cutscenes, I noticed it. But you may be seeing it right now. But there was definitely some stuttering. In the very first playthrough, I say very first playthrough, it, not as if I finished the game, but my first attempt at playing the game, because I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to create a shelter at first. I'll be honest with you, and I made a few mistakes, so I wanted to start all over. But the very first time I played, yeah, there was a little bit of stuttering in the cutscenes. There was a little bit of stuttering in some of you know, when I was walking around the island. Um, I feel like, and I don't know, because after that initial playthrough, I didn't see it anymore. Definitely in that initial playthrough, there was some stuttering here and there in the animation department and whatnot uh, during cutscenes, and I did have to make some adjustments to the actual visual settings and whatnot to kind of smooth that out for myself. But after that playthrough, because I, I didn't save anything because I didn't even know how to save. I didn't realize I was supposed to build a shelter to save. I wasn't paying attention, and I made a few mistakes anyway, like killing Virginia because I thought she was an actual <laughs> mutant that was trying to take, you know, trying to attack me. So after I restarted the game, I started my playthrough, and I uh, start, just started playing again. And, and at that point, I decided to play on peaceful, just that way I could get an understanding how the game plays. I suggest that for anyone. Play on peaceful if you don't know what you're doing, that is. Play on peaceful at first, so you can get an understanding of how the game is even supposed to be played. So that way you can be ready when the, you know the, mut the mutants or whatnot actually do try to raid your camp or whatnot. You'll be kind of be prepared for it. So, and then once you kind of get that idea of how to play, yeah, yeah, you just go play normal. But after I did that second, start that second playthrough, and, and this is without any adjustments, I didn't really see as much stuttering as I did on that very first playthrough. So I don't know if the game was still trying to download cash or what, but I didn't see nearly as much stuttering as I did that very first playthrough. But I, and I when I did see it though, because I'm not gonna say I didn't see it all at all, I did see it. When I was doing certain things, especially like when I was chopping wood, when I would go to chop wood, chop a tree down, um, it would do that tree, that chop, or that, I don't say that chop, but I guess you say the chop animation, the axe animation as it's coming to hit that tree, there would be a slight stutter, and then it would do its thing. So, I don't know if that's, and again, that feels like a Steam Deck thing, but I don't know if it's a thing that happens on the regular, on regular PC players. If you play this game on the PC, let me know. Is, is it? Is it something that happens for, for you guys at all? I do know the game it does have quite a few glitches, so I'm just throwing it out there. Understand, and these are not Steam Deck um, exclusive glitches, glitches. Remember, this game is early access, so the game is still being actively updated, actively worked on. It even has a little timer on the splash on the actual title screen that gives you a timeline of when the next update is on its way. So, FYI. But there are quite a few glitches. Just letting you know that off top, but it's definitely a fun game. It's definitely a fun game. Now, as for, for my Steam Deck owners, I will say this. As far as controlling, yeah, you control with a mouse and keyboard if you want, but it is very controller friendly. It's you know you can play with a controller with no problem. So that means this game can be played on the go with, without any issue. 
I would definitely, definitely look into it. It works well in that manner. Now, it's going back a little bit to the glitches, I will say, and this is just because if you never played this game, kind of give you an idea what you're looking for. Uh, I've already mentioned, play a little bit on peaceful mode, so that way it gives you an idea of how the game is actually supposed to be played. Give you, you know, so you can quickly build up your, your little settlement or your, you know, your little camp before the raids or whatnot start happening or whatever, because the mutants will raid every now and then. I played the first force, so if you ever played the first force, you, you're in for some stuff, right? But as far as actually the actual glitches that you may you may encounter, whether you're on PC or Steam Deck, there's a quite a few weird loop glitches, um, such as I think at one time I saw Virginia on my second playthrough. I was hungry. My character was hungry, I mean, and I needed to get some. And she had a rabbit she already killed. So I was like, man, I'm going to grab that rabbit. And I just got to this weird glitch where I just kept skinning the rabbit and put it into my back and I couldn't get it to stop. I ended up having to just restart the game. Um, Every now and then I did encounter a game crash where the game would just shut, you know, just crash on me and I had to restart again. Again, those glitches, I think, are not related to Steam Deck. From what I've seen online, PC players are getting those too. And at this point, it is a, a early access game, so that's going to be expected. So just FYI, don't come in here, come into this game thinking, man, I'm about to kill it. And then it crashes. You see? This game sucks. Nah, man, it's early access game. Give it time. Give it time. It's still cooking. It's still in the oven. They just kind of let it out the oven for us to kind of taste it a little bit. So just understand that. Understand that. All in all, my idea, or my, my, from my perspective, my thoughts on the game, as a Steam Deck player, Steam Deck primary player, that's a play, man. This is a go. This is definitely a purchase. Worth the purchase. More than worth the purchase. I would say... If you're into games like Rust or something like that, this game is for you. This game, this game is gonna be pretty fun. You, if you're in the game but you don't want to deal with the monsters and mutants, but you do like the kind of building aspect of it, you can play on play uh, peaceful mode all the way through. You know the bosses still exist, but you know the monsters and mutants are not. They're gone. So that's definitely you know just FYI. So I would say it's definitely worth the purchase. Anyway, if you like more how tos. Steam Deck news and walkthroughs. Like and subscribe. Cruise through the playlist. And I'm out.